Don't know much about Uncle Tom's Cabin? You'll know more than most by the end of this video. Uncle Tom's Cabin was a big hit in the 1800s because it referenced the main issue of the day, slavery. Even though it was a fictional novel, it was quite factual. Harriet Beecher Stowe wrote it to showcase why slavery was so bad and what slavery was in general. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at the fiction in Harriet's novel and how it compares to reality. So if you're not too familiar with the book, you can take a look at it in our previous video where we give a quick summary. Before we go on, I gotta clear something up. Harriet didn't write any one of her characters to one specific person in history. Like the Shelby family, they treated their slaves with respect and with kindness, like they would a friend, most of the time. It was Harriet's intention to write the Shelbys in to represent, for lack of a better word, the best parts of slavery and slave owners. Emily Shelby was based off a woman who told Harriet that she couldn't look her slaves in the face because she knew slavery was wrong, but she couldn't convince her husband to free all of her slaves, much like Emily Shelby in the novel. Harriet did the same for the Shelby's opposite, Legree. His character was made to portray the very worst of slavery. But in her second book, Harriet said that the reason for Legree's character wasn't to show all masters as villains, but to show respectable masters that there were others out there that treated slaves in the very worst way possible. Harriet, with the Shelbys, was saying to anti-slavery people that not all slave owners were bad masters. Some actually treated their slaves more like hired hands in exchange for room and board, rather than something less than human. And Legree was written into Harriet's novel to wake up slave owners like the Shelbys to the fact that the system they were using was being used by others in a way unimaginable to them. But let's talk about Uncle Tom for a bit. He was based mostly off one guy, Josiah Henson. He had a wife and kids and was also trusted by his master, even enough to take 18 slaves on a trip and bring them all back. And he did bring them all back, which is something that he regretted for the rest of his life. He was a slave in Kentucky, sent to New Orleans to be sold, and he did save a little girl from drowning, much like Uncle Tom. Where their story split off is when Josiah's young master gets really sick and orders Josiah to take him all the way back to Kentucky. He does, and later escapes to Canada. Now what about Eliza Harris? A lot of the stories in the book were based off a woman named Mary Clark, who did take her son across the Ohio River. What's interesting is that a slave hunter was waiting for Mary on the other side, but when he saw how desperate she was, he took her to a nearby abolitionist. Eliza's physical features and backstory were based off an unnamed former slave. She was only one quarter black and could pass as a woman of high class if dressed up right. Her masters also treated her very kindly, but she ran away in the end. This miniseries on Uncle Tom's Cabin barely scratches the surface of the novel or of the stories behind them. But our third and final episode will look at what came after the novel and how people reacted to its thought-provoking stories. And you can click on this video here if you want to look at the summary of the novel. <laughs>